Hey, hey, it's Jack K, and this is a new Jackie's vlog. Clearly, I am at work. Hence the very cool... I really hope that the phone doesn't ring while I'm doing this quick little intro for you guys. I just wanted to give you an intro to this video. I, I recorded several things from Old Licking County Jail, and I was going to separate them into different little vlogs, but I think I'm just, for the sake of time and for the sake of, you know, content, I'm just going to wrap them all up and bundle them all up into one whole video for you all. So there's clips from the car ride, there's clips from the tour, you'll definitely see the tour, and then there's clips on the way home and afterwards, you know, talking about the night and how things went down. So that's what you guys are going to be watching, and I hope you all enjoy it. That's all that I have for you all. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, do it. And until next time, YouTube, keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep on keeping on. Peace out, ghostess. We're on our way to our hotel in Zanesville. We stopped to get gas. We actually got off the wrong exit, so we're just gonna get gas this exit and go to our next exit where the hotel is. What, you can't have a, a thing of popcorn? I don't know if I want popcorn. Maybe I want a Milky Way. Listen, Faithy. Yeah, we don't. We don't need that. Look, we're. Oh, Wait, yo. where are you going? Mine told me to get on to 70 West again. Are you going to the right place, Nina? Girl, will you please put your hand? For Christ's it sake. It says. Che and East on Sonora Road, then turn right to Mojo to I 70 West. Listen to the Australian. He knows where he's going in America. Hey, look, there's Rusty Nail just chilling over there. Yeah, but there's big, big he's, events going on. He's trying to pick out his next victim. See him over there? Yep. He's like, I'm just gonna sit here and pretend to sell my truck so I can sit here and scope out my next victims. That seems like a pretty wise decision for a truck How far serial is killer. This from oh, look at it. It's like secluded back here. I like it. I like it too. With like all of the two people that are here. That's awesome. Right, yeah, yeah. we got to go in and see if we're actually at this hotel or if we're at a different one. I'm, we kind of got our hopes up with the tumbleweed. So knowing us, we'll go in there and they'll be like, yeah, sorry, you're at the wrong one. Hopefully, it's for this hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 We could have been best friends. Now we're not. Go, my go. Go run. Go, my go. My legs got it. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I just almost died. <laughs> Did you seriously not close the door? The struggle with staying in a room with your mom is she doesn't close the door when she pees. Like seriously? Mom, nobody wants to hear you pee. The whole world of the 11 subscribers that I have just heard you pee on the YouTube. We have such a nice view. That is the mound outside our window. It's nice, it's nice. Let's go check out Janine's room. All right, let's go. Oh, she's coming to check out our room. No, we don't, we're not gonna let that happen. Oh, that <laughs> mints. We take a skinny stick throughout the day. Keep our energy high and our appetite low. Where's our little don't disturb us card? Dude, it's upside down. So hopefully Rosalita can read things upside down before she comes and wakes us up in the morning. Is it the sky's awake or the sun's awake? What the hell is that? This is holding my suitcase. Oh, I have a bench. That's why she came out with like the crutches on steroids. <laughs> it smells, I smell. I'm not smelling your poof. You wash yourself with that. It smells nice, Jackie. That's disgusting. We are on our way. It is now seven o'clock. Last I left you, it was like three thirty, something like that. But I'm not gonna record a lot of the car ride because I have to take you all around on our tour. So that's what I'm gonna save my battery life for because you know I'm cheap and I still haven't bought a replacement battery for my camera. Are we in the ghetto of Licking County? Of the Nest Ghetto, I think. I think we might be. But it's like it's like a peaceful ghetto. There the it is. Destination is on your right. Okay, well I can't do not enter. These two rooms were children's bedrooms which were actually much larger than the master bedroom. People said, well, why is that? And I said, well, in 1889, when I built it, there was no contraceptives. Oh. <laughs> this is the uh, sheriff's master bedroom. Oh, wow, it's small. It's an active room 
four sheriffs, not deputies, actual sheriff died of massive heart attacks in this room. Now this is how the matron would have to come. Oh, oh my. But this is where the matron would have lived. A lot of activity in that room. Okay. Creepy room. And now here is the matron's work area. And this is one of the most active spots in the building. Women's cell block is set up different than the men's. Uh, those things are in each of the cell block, just like windows. On this little tower on the north side of the building, there's showers all the way down, which they had originally been a bathtub when it first opened. They got one bath a week. That's this is really a really bad. active floor. We got a, a, a woman that we call the crazy lady. We think that her name is Mae Barner. We're not positive, but if it is Mae, Mae set herself on fire in this cell, but she bit herself in in there. And you can remember that because it's the only one that's got a bed. Okay. And in, in these rooms. Uh, here's the, the men's visitation windows. So the visitors have to come up here and the visitors stand on this side. And the, you look at the difference from like this and the mountain. Moundsville. You got a catwalk down this way and down that way that goes all the way around cells. Okay. So if they broke out of their cell, they're still not out of the jail, they're in the general population. You will probably hear disembodied, or not disembodied, but uh, maybe residual sounds of cell doors. Somebody said, well, it, that could be the wind. Yeah, sure. So, see if the wind can move that door. Sure. The wind's not going to move that door. I can hardly oh. move the damn door. <laughs> Is that the wind case? <laughs> Originally, these cells <laughs> held four people. Two on this side, two on that side. They took these ones out after the state made them take it out. That, that is his actual morgue photo. Mm -hmm. uh, but he sat in here for two hours. They had a ladder on that side of the building and the windows would have been open in July. And they were telling him how they were going to kill him. Oh. While there was 1,500 people gathered out, they were ramming the side of the, the bars to get in. This is the most active cell, and they cut a damn hole in it. But oh. this one, where Walter Robertson, the guy in the picture, hanged himself. He had dated a woman for 30 years, Dalla Prodinger. She would never marry him. We just finished eating. So we got two pizzas. Fatties had to eat. We each have our own two liter of Dr. Pepper. It's awesome. I've been drinking out of mine all savage-like, which has been real, real attractive. Real, real attractive. I'm pretty sure my battery died somewhere, somewhere in between the first floor cell block and the basement. I'm gonna let this camera charge a little bit more. I just took it off the charger so I could talk to y'all for a minute. It is 1.25 a.m. Oh my gosh. We've gotten quite a bit of of awesome activity so far. We haven't really been a lot of places yet because we actually are getting so much evidence in one spot that we end up staying there for quite a bit, which we have to kind of knock out for a second because we... Means going potty. We actually have to cut that out uh, if we want to get everywhere tonight. We get out of here at four and so that means we have to start packing up and cleaning up at three probably quarter after three at the latest at the absolute latest we have all this stuff to pack up it's 242 and I told you all that we were gonna try and be um, done investigating and packing up by like three quarter after three at the latest right we were all split up on the third floor cell block yeah the third floor cell block we were all split up all sitting in different cells right and we're like, hey, it's 2.30, let's go in the basement, which was the dungeon and the drunk tanks and solitary confinement, right? So we're like, let's go. So we pick up some equipment, dropped it off at our little area here, and then we proceed to go to the basement, right? So we get to the basement, we get to the dungeon. <laughs> I have my flashlight in my mouth, and I was the first one to go through the door. And I saw something fly and like swoop down, right? And I'm yelling, bat, bat. But of course it was with my flashlight in my mouth. So I was like, bah, bah, bah. and so <laughs> I had to take my flashlight out of, the out of my mouth 
and I told everybody that there was a bat down there. Well, Mom was already like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm not going in there because I don't deal with bats. Well, she was already in there, so joke's on her. Means shining her flashlight up at the ceiling, you know, which bats love. And all of a sudden, it comes back out of the back room and comes right at me. That was some scary shit. Like, the bat literally was coming at me. It was like... And it was coming at me. It was dangerous. I, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Mom dropped her camera, and now it's like the front plate is like coming off of it because she dropped it. Because she was, she was, I yelled bat, and then it was like, she, boom. I turned around. Like, I ducked when the bat was coming at me, right? I was just normal, like covering my, myself. I ducked, and these two, I looked to the left. These two are already out of the door. In a time of danger, these two left me. They left me. So you all just remember that. What was that? Was that the door? It was the door. I mean, I think it was. Okay, no, I don't think it was the door. Maybe we caught some evidence on Jackie's vlog. It's 11.30, we made it to Tumbleweed. I say that and it was just literally in front of our hotel. Ladies? We are at Tumbleweed, getting some lunch. We left all of our pizza at the hotel. You know, it didn't actually look appetizing. If you, did you open the box this morning? No. It did not look appetizing at all. We were woken up at like eight, I think it was eight. Eight, like eight. 30 oh, yeah, with kids screaming. screaming. Now you would think, you would think parents would be like, hey, be quiet. There's I other people say, sleeping. Call his name or something. We'll get in here or whatever. Well, go get him. Oh, Don't yell wow. down the hallway. Aww. I'm not entirely sure what that was. That's all I'm going to record a bunch. We're going to go eat and then we're going to go home, go to Michael's. And, and, book, and, books and, books and then go home. And then I'm gonna go home.